I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the Edmund Rice International. Mr. President, we welcome the progress report of the Special Rapporteur and the High Commissioner on the human rights situation in Myanmar. The human rights and humanitarian situations are getting worse every day. Widespread massive human rights violations by the Myanmar military continue to take place to attacks on civilians and the burning of houses, schools, health facilities and religious buildings. In Mindat town, as well as many townships and areas in Chin State, the population still experience airstrikes and artillery shelling, causing more internal displacement and further humanitarian disasters. The restriction of movements through the establishment of checkpoints on roads and bridges in some towns have cut access of people to food, medicines, fuels and other commodities necessary for survival. Injured victims, sick children and elderly have no access to proper medical care. Hundreds of children in the IDP camps are deprived of access to education, some of them since February 2021 when the military coup started. Mr. President, the situation should not be tolerated any longer. The Human Rights Council and the international community need to take immediate and concrete action. Therefore, we ask members of the Council to urge the Myanmar military to ensure access of humanitarian organisations to provide assistance and to ensure the safe return of all internally displaced persons and condemn in the strongest terms the massive and grave human rights violations and acts of violence against civilians. Thank you. Thank you.